niacin, vitamin B3. It's vital for energy production and also protection from ultraviolet light on your skin. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, niacin is extremely important for energy production in every cell in the body. So deficiency states of niacin show up as skin uh, damage or dermatitis of the skin. Uh, the brain stops functioning. A type of dementia shows up if there's not enough niacin. The, the intestinal tract cells can't reproduce properly, so you end up with diarrhea and gastrointestinal symptoms that are quite severe. And also a sore mouth, angular stomatitis. That's cracks here in the corners of the lips. And, and so they've looked at supplementation studies with niacin, because niacin seems to be multi-purpose. Now at very high doses, niacin can actually lower cholesterol. It can also lower triglycerides. It can raise the good cholesterol known as HDL. But my concern is that high doses of niacin can also damage the liver. So you can't just put yourself on a high niacin program because liver monitoring needs to be done through blood work by your physician. To lower cholesterol in most cases, I prefer to use two natural agents, gum Google and artichoke leaf extract, which I write about on my website because these are natural things that don't really cause a lot of damage and, and can are extremely non-toxic and, and very effective. But back to niacin, we have seen studies where uh, high doses of niacin or significant doses, not enough to be toxic, can help to reduce the damage done by ultraviolet light to the skin because the energy that the skin cells require that niacin gives them to repair damage from ultraviolet light seems to decrease some of the steps that are important in the prevention of skin cancer. And that's why I think niacin, a, a B vitamin, a B complex with 50 milligrams of, vi of niacin, I think is something you should take every day. More recently, we've seen that um, in Alzheimer's disease, there's three things that happen. The brain stops making a lot of the memory chemical acetylcholine. And then there's a buildup of the beta amyloid plaque. And there's been some, uh, you know, research into showing how you can block some of those events. But the third part of Alzheimer's disease is the formation of these what are called neurofibrillary tangles, which basically destroy the brain cell. And no one really had any answers to it. Well, recently some animal studies have shown that niacin at certain doses, very high doses, has been able to block the formation of neurofibrillary tangles in certain animals that are predisposed to Alzheimer's disease. And so human studies will probably follow very shortly. In terms of niacin supplementation, if you're going to be taking it as a supplement uh, some, uh, at high doses, uh, it's contraindicated in people that have gout or an active ulcer or if you have liver and gallbladder disease. You cannot take high doses of niacin. Those problems will get worse. So you see it's a bit tricky. So what I suggest with respect to understanding niacin is click on the link below, read my article. It'll help you understand how to get the optimal amount of niacin or vitamin B3 and how to use it as a supplement for various health conditions in a safe and effective way. Now remember that at machinohealth.com you'll see my other teaching materials uh, or footage from my live seminars, other research re review papers that I have, um, other downloads and resources I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All of my teaching materials and uh, review papers are complete with all the scientific references so you'll know that for me you're only getting sound evidence-based information on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.